You know, I think one of the major issues that I can recall in our early days of talking about what to do, because we were all teachers, and we were teaching sporadically in the community, was we wanted to collectively come together to offer something to a group of people, a group of people, anyone, that would be relevant to their Islam in Canada, in North America, and something that would connect them to inspire them, connect them to Allah, connect them to the Prophet. And then thirdly, to collect them to scholars and scholarship, not ourselves, but to the ulama of the past, the great scholars whose names have been forgotten, whose books have been forgotten, whose work for the protection of the deen has been totally obliterated hmm, and forgotten. So we wanted to, to teach them their deen, but teach them their deen not from a perspective that is, uh, not from a perspective that, that is already talked about or that we were teaching our classes, but from a perspective of scholarship, from a deep understanding of what scholarship is and what our greatest scholars hmm, have developed and have preserved for us. Because no one can say that what the scholars have developed in the past that is not relevant for us. They have brought things that were relevant in their time that is relevant for us. We're not reinventing the wheel of scholarship. We're not. Korba is not reinventing the wheel of scholarship. The course is we're not reinventing anything. We're not digging out something that, that is new. We're not developing something new. We may develop the ways or the tools to get it out to students, but we're not developing ilm, knowledge that is new. It's there. It's concealed by those who want to conceal it. And we just want to bring it to the forefront and say, this is what is in our books. This is what our scholars have developed that looks like they developed it yesterday. And that, I think, is one of the key, at least for me, one of the key is to say, to people, here is a perspective. Here's a perspective. Who talked about it? Scholar so-and-so talked about it 600 years ago. But isn't it like he's talking to us today in our condition? Right? And that will lead the student to feel what? To feel like as that scholarship has something to offer us. That the tradition has something to offer us. That our religion has something to offer us. And it is found within the pages and the words of our ulama that, in, that inspired people 500, 600, 800 years ago, and it can still inspire us today.